Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, University Admission System. And I have developed this project in Python, Django, and Math School. The version for the Python I'm using is the Python version 2.7, and the Django version is 1.11, and the MySQL version is 5.6. For connecting database, means MySQL with Python and Django, I'm using the MySQL connector for the Django and the Python. If you are using the pip, then you can install the Pan, uh, Django, sorry, MySQL connector Django with pip command, or you can also use PyMySQL for connecting the database. Right. So these all are the server technologies and the database technologies I am using. For front end development, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used, like formal edition, creating sliders, and many more things I have used to jQuery plugins. Right. This is the HTML5 bootstrap theme, and it's a mobile responsive. Means if you open this theme into the mobile, then the UI will not be distorted and the UI will be fit according to the mobile device or the tab, right? So these all uh, technology I have used for developing this project. So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is University Admission System and it's a major project developed in Python, Django and MySQL, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. It's a responsive thing. This is the, <clears throat> this is the home page of the project, right? This is about and it's about the project, right? If you need, uh, if you want to change anything in here, then go on the about.html, which is available in the templates folder, and you can change the content. This is a student login from where a student will be able to log in. This is all courses, all courses which is available in the university will be displayed here. If you click on the course, then you will be able to see all of the subjects which is available in that course, right? So this is all courses. This is the admin login from where admin will be able to log inside the system. This is a contact us and it's a static contact us page. I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I'm not sending any type of email and SMS from this page, right? So let's start with the student login. So the user is a student and the password is test. So once you log inside the system, then you will get this dashboard, right? So here you will here you will get four options the course list my account change password and the logout right if you click on the course list then you will get the all of the list which is available and which has been added by the admin right next one is the my account from where you will be able to update your account details right this is the my account section this is the change password from where you will be able to update your account password so these operations a student can perform log out so once you log out then you will get the uh, then you will get the uh, login uh, means non-login use user menu right so if you click on the admin login then after that you can log in as an admin right so these all operations admin can perform right admin can add the courses here from where admin can add the courses right so you can't submit the form without filling the details because it's a this is the form validation implemented by the jquery this is the add subject from where you need to select the course and this course this problem will contain all of the courses which you have added from the admin panel right from this page right this is the add subject from where you will be able to add the subjects this is add new user from where you will be able to add the new user, right? A student. This is a report. You will be able to get all of the student reports here. You can edit and update the details from here, right? So you can see course report, all of the courses which you have added, right? If you edit the things, then you can update the course list here, right? This is the subject report. All of the subject which you have added will be displayed here. This is the course on which you have added subject. This is the subject name. You can edit them and update the details here, right? Okay. So, okay. So this all reports we have developed, right? The logout functionality. Once you click on the logout, the above menu will be changed and it will show you the menu which is not available for the student means it will not contain any type of administrative options right because it's a session driven so let me show you log out then you can see the above menu has been changed but if you log in then if you admin and log in as an admin then you will get the user id and uh, you will get the menu which is available for the admin and if you log in as an 
uh, sorry uh, student then you will get the menu for the students also right then the internal menu will be changed according to the session right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project university management system admission system and if you need more functionality in this project just put it in the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much